Exodiac 85X presents Team XC. Bella, who is my vegan dog, is 100% fine. She's been vegan since August 2017. Her fur is fine, her poo is fine, her pee is fine, her blood work is fine, everything's fine, and you actually know it. No, we don't know if she's fine. You've never shown any evidence. No charts, no diagnosis, nothing. So how would we know? Just because she's alive doesn't mean she's okay. Happiness is everything in a dog's life, and she always looks depressed. You expect everyone to believe you when you provide no evidence or sources on what you speak on. You expect everyone to believe that your way is the right way when it's just making you look even more suspicious. All of you know it. You're just insane. You're trying to convince yourselves that I, an animal rights activist, would hurt my dog. Just think about how crazy that is. You're the one that's insane, lady. You're the one that's feeding your dog this new age dog food that's more like an experiment. And guess what? All those dogs are the guinea pigs. Just like all this new aged medication coming out with horrible health problems and side effects, guinea pigs. Meanwhile, you are stabbing an animal and shoving it down your throat. Why love one, but eat the other? Why love roses, but eat broccoli? Why? Why? Because you're brainwashed since being a kid. No, you're the one that's brainwashed, lady. You're the one that listened to someone when they told you to go vegan. You are all speciesists. You know what racism is? Think about it. What is speciesism? Why is one different than the other? What right do we have to discriminate? You cannot humanize an animal like that. The definition of a person is a human being regarded as an individual. They do not meet that standard. So you cannot compare that to racism. Guys, who took her off her meds? It makes no sense. Stop eating animals. Be better and be vegan and start now. Let's do it. That's funny how you stole Joe Robe's cheesy line. Be better. Well, guess what? We're not going vegan. And as a matter of fact, that just makes my mouth water even more for a double western bacon cheeseburger. People say we have to respect everyone. I disagree. To me, respect is earned. But how are you trying to earn their respect? You say respect is earned, but what are you doing on your end? You make fun of religion. You bring up racism every time someone wants to eat meat. You're so prejudiced over, like, everything. And yet, you say respect is earned? Pretending to be talking to God on a banana phone isn't really being respectful. I will respect you if I see that your heart is aligned with your actions, that you are a good person, that you try hard to stick up for the victims. So basically what you're implying is them being vegan isn't good enough. That basically they have to be an activist for them to gain your respect. You're basically trying to force them into politics is what you're doing. I will tolerate everyone around me. That's different. I will tolerate them. That means in the store, I will be polite and civilized. I don't think singing in front of fast food restaurants, telling them to be vegan from now on is being very polite or civilized. As a matter of fact, how would you like it if KFC and McDonald's teamed up and started singing songs in front of your house, telling you to be omnivore from now on? You wouldn't like it very much, now would you? Oh, but let's not talk about that. You would probably send an officer to escort them away from your property. If somebody falls on the street, I run to help them. I'm not mean. You understand? You're not mean? But didn't you say 
that you decided not to be an organ donor because you didn't want us having your organs, that you would rather an animal rights activist have your organs? Welp, so much for humanity. But look, I don't want your organs, and I doubt my friends want them either. The people that I do bring into my life are people that I respect. That means I look up to them, and there's something in them that makes me think, wow, I'd really like to be like you, I admire you. I don't know if that helps you understand. Who do you respect, admire, and want to be like? Because from what I can see, you treat others poorly, including other vegans. You're usually telling them, you're not vegan, or you're not vegan, you're plant-based. I mean, you judge them so much, and you're trying to be a teacher to all the vegans. You don't respect them either. So, who really do you admire, respect, and want to be like? So you want to know if I want to be friends with somebody who gives money to pay people to take baby boy chicks off assembly lines and check, and if they're boys, put them in a blender, turn it on and grind them up on their first day of life, because they can't lay eggs, so they're useless for the industry. Would you be friends with somebody like that? Let's say it wasn't a chicken and it was other birds. So you want to know if I want to be friends with you, even though you pay money to people to take baby cows away from their mothers, and if they're boys, kill them, murder them, and turn them into veal, when there are so many other things to eat. You want to know if I should be friends with you, even though you pay people to keep mother pigs in tight, tight, confined spots their entire lives, so if they can use them by killing them and turning them into bacon. Okay, I know I'm wearing a mask, but the mood calls for it. If you guys want to see a lot more of me with the mask and hoodie and everything, just let me know, and I'll continue a series like this. But, this mood calls for it. Anyways, what she doesn't understand what she told that nice person was in a roundabout way she said she didn't want to be their friend without even saying the words. She basically pointed it out. But did she realize this? That basically she pays the power company and, the, and basically the water company, her utilities. Who do you think is collecting that money, guys? Who do you think is collecting the money? Do you think there are vegans behind that? What do you think they're going to do with the money? Even if I know they got to pay for their own supplies and everything and uh, for taxes and all, but the, the rest of the money, you think they're just not going to do anything? They're just going to buy vegan food off that? Because if you think that's all they're going to do, you're crazy. Most of the people aren't even vegan working there. They're going to buy themselves hamburgers and everything else. So when you pay your power utilities, lady, that's who you're providing. So before you look at someone like this and cancel that person out f from wanting to be your friend, think about the people you're actually paying the money to. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.